Okay, that's good. Hey everyone, my name is Chris Dunn. You probably already know that. And I want to share something that I learned over the last month or so with you guys. This is something very simple, but I'm actually surprised that we didn't know about it before. I'm just going to get to the point and show you guys what it is. Alright guys, so these are broiler chickens, which you already know already because everybody loves chicken for some strange reason. Now, what you can actually see is a setup here where I'm raising 50 chickens. Now, this is actually the first time I'm raising chickens, which is kind of strange seeing that uh, I've been doing egg culture for many years and I have a bachelor's degree in egg culture, but that's another story for another day. So I'm just going to open this up so you guys can see what's inside. Now that slushy looking mixture is actually fermented feed and also a mixture of, what's it called? It's called um, papaya leaves, uh, guava leaves, callaloo and also pop chow and also corn. You know the corn stalks that you have after you harvest corn? Yeah, so what I basically do is I blend it up like you're making a green smoothie and I add it to the feed. Now, what is fermented feed, you might be asking yourself. Now, fermented feed is basically adding water to the feed that you existingly have, right? So if you have a bucket like this, for example, a five gallon bucket, and you half it with chicken feed or pig feed, whatever feed of your choice, you're going to cover it with water. You'd have to make sure that the feed is fully submerged, all the air pockets are taken out, and you make the water at least an inch or two above the feed. Now, you can actually leave the feed like this for up to three days. Three days is actually best. Some people leave it longer, but three days is best. For me, I only ferment my feed for 24 hours. Now, what fermenting the feed does, it actually allows the feed to release um, new nutrients because when it actually breaks down because you know that feed is mostly powdery like when it actually breaks down in that anaerobic environment it actually breaks down and creates new nutrients fermenting the feed also allows the feed to expand and absorb more moisture from the water so you'd actually save money on feed because you'd spend up to 50 percent less on feed another thing that the feed um, gets from being fermented is that it allows them to get um, more beneficial nutrients. It allows them to um, excrete or pull less. It allows them to get um, the nutrients more readily available because it's in a more broken down, simpler form. Now, I'm actually raising 50 chickens. I'm not sure if I can show you guys this. But yeah, it's two levels. And I also have some chickens here as well. Now, before I got to this level where I made this whole temporary makeshift chicken cub, I actually raised them um, inside for most of their lives. Now, the reason why I had to do this is because these chickens are being grown organically. Now, that means no hormones, no vaccines, no boosters, no medication at all. Everything is natural. Um, I give them fermented leaves, as I told you, so callaloo, pop chow, Anything that we can eat, they can eat basically, right? And I also have some other boosters that I give them. It's a mixture of molasses, um, lime juice, um, pineapple juice. It's, it's a variety of things. I'm going to get more into that in another video. But these are them. So, yeah, so I bought a total of 50 chickens. As of this moment, I have 49. I accidentally stepped on one. I don't know how he fell out, but he fell out. Well, he or she fell out. And I didn't expect him to be on the ground and I stepped on him. Yeah. It was an accident, guys. I'm sorry. R.I.P. But, yeah. So, this is actually them in uh, the latter stages of their life. So far, growing them, they are almost at fully mat full maturity. I've used a total of five and a half bags of feed to take the chickens to this level. So, not sure if you can see how big they are. And you can also notice that they're not really pushing out that many feathers. But be honest, guys, we eat the chicken, not the, not the feathers. Guys, I won't eat you, don't worry. You're not going to get eaten. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm planning on doing this over again from start. So I can show you guys the process of how I do everything. Because if you guys can save money on feed, which is the most expensive thing in produ poultry production, you guys can actually turn into a business or a side hustle or an extra income so i'm going to teach you guys that 
yeah so i was trying to say is i'm going to teach you guys how to do this process um step by step and i hope you have a wonderful experience from it and i hope everyone can actually do some amount of gardening or planting or rearing of something because it's a very good way to be sustainable and just to have a wonderful existence it's very calming and relaxing and if you have issues with stress or depression it's very helpful so that's it for me and enjoy the video have a wonderful day